Hey, what's up? It's Akimel. Welcome. Hope you guys are having a good day. And I wanted to bring this story brief from North Carolina about a 14 year old that somebody attempted to grab her. The guy used the chair allegedly to climb through the window, grabbed her and she screamed. Now everybody's safe. Everybody's okay. But before we get into that, cause we're going to watch the video and the news clip, I wanted to share this clip from Gloria Alvarado, because as soon as I saw this come across my news feed, I thought about her and I was like, dang, because the whole window situation, the, the screen being cut out and the car that pulled up at night. Now I'm not saying, you know, it's the same thing. I don't know if Gloria went willingly or unwillingly, but the whole window situation, it just kind of stuck out to me. Boy is gone. The family of a missing 15 year old girl woke up to this horrifying sight. The window screen cut open and the curtain torn. The screen was cut. My heart dropped down to the floor. Police in Tyler, Michigan, just released this frantic call made by mom. What is the emergency? I just woke up and my 15 year old daughter, her window's wide open, she's gone. Her cell phone was left behind, wow. but some clothes were gone and she- You can actually see the inside. Let me just pause it for a second here. But some clothes were gone and she apparently took her toothbrush. Yeah. So clothes are gone and toothbrush. Is there any chance your daughter ran away? No, I really don't know. What was your thought when you saw her phone lying on her bed? It scares me. She had her that phone attached to her hand 24 seven. Adding to the mystery, a neighbor's security camera captured a car pulling up to the Alvarado home at 1 a.m. A man gets out and starts towards the house, but that's where the tape cuts out. I'll put the links down below if you want to see the full video with regards to Gloria Alvarado. I think I did two videos on that. Now, to this story in North Carolina in a place called Winston-Salem, there's this whole situation with this 14-year-old and this guy allegedly using a chair to climb through the window. They have not caught this guy. It takes away your feeling of safety in your own home. It's a feeling Tanisha Washington can't shake. Eventually it'll progress into something else where he's going to end up hurting somebody. Around 2.30 in the morning on October 28th, Winston-Salem police say this man used a chair to reach into Tanisha's 14-year-old daughter's open window while she was sleeping. Wow. When she saw him, I guess he noticed that her eyes were open. That's when he reached in and grabbed her, and that's when she screamed. Tanisha rushed to her daughter's side and called police. While the man couldn't be found, he was captured on her neighbor's home camera that night. You didn't just reach in and grab her. You took away her sense of security in her home, in her bedroom, around her, in her, her, this is her safe space. His brief actions leaving a lasting impression on her daughter. He took a bubbly teenager that had like all his life, all of this, this, this sense of humor, all of this life in her. And he just made her scared of everything. Tanisha installed a security system and yeah. cameras for a peace of mind but says it'll never take away the pain he's caused. As a parent, you can't take it away, you know. Even though no matter how hard you want to, you can't take that away from her. And that's something that she'll never be the same from. You know, she'll never be the same behind it, ever. Man, that is creepy. I feel like these instances are happening more and more. That or we're just noticing more and more. I totally always advocate for having or advocate for having an alarm in your home, even if you have arms to protect yourself because if you're caught off guard, it's no use. Even if you have a gun in your home, somebody opens the window, takes your child and goes away. You don't notice to the morning that gun is useless. I always, always, always say at least have some sort of alarm in your house, have the chime settings turned on, meaning when the door opens, when a window opens, that sound goes off and makes noise. Even if the alarm is off and you're home during the day, you want to have that chime on. So, you know, your surroundings. You know, it's even better like she did uh, install video camera too. I'm glad their kid's okay. I mean, she's probably going to be freaked out, probably traumatized. I mean, I, I'd be freaked out too. I'd be upset. I'd be angry. The community should be pretty upset. They should be able to hopefully to identify this guy, get him off the streets before he really does hurt somebody if he hasn't done so already. Uh, these types of people are really seriously coming after our kids. And so when I saw that and I saw this, it just made me think of um, Gloria. Though Gloria, that situation is really weird because with Gloria, her cell phone was left on top of the uh, pillow. She took her toothbrush and some clothes. So almost like it was planned, maybe possibly, unless somebody came in there, snuck in and forced her to take these things and to leave her phone behind. Though the height, if you watch that video, I'll put the link down below, was kind of high. So I, it was just 
even in this situation, I'm not sure what this guy was planning on doing. Maybe he's going to try to cover her or something, just try to pull her out and run. I don't know what this guy's game plan was because with Gloria, the thing was kind of high too. And Gloria, she was, uh, according to this article here from the News Herald, 168 pounds. So it's just, it's just strange, bizarre. You guys comment down below. Take care of yourselves. Appreciate you. I am working on a side little project. I don't know when that video will be out. I have Maddie with me today. So maybe tonight I'll stay up and work on it. But there's more content to come out and hopefully some new stories. But I want to put these out there just to kind of give a little bit of awareness and give some little quick brief stories in the meantime. Take care of yourselves and peace. Tell them to subscribe. 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 How many subscribers do we need? I say 15,000. 15,000 subscribers. 15,000. That's what baby says, my baby girl. <laughs> I see potential subscribers. I see potential subscribers. Perfect. Perfect.